Um, good morning, everybody, again. I'm going to start by um, asking, I'm up here to talk about stewardship for a moment. Anybody that knows me knows I like to get everybody involved in something, so everybody's going to be involved this morning. Did everybody, I like this question, did everybody get a little brown piece of paper, a little brown circle? If you didn't, put your hand up, and Tristan is going to run and come and give you one real quick. So put your hand up nice, and he will come and bring you one. all about the jewel here. So thank you, Joe, for the song with the season and the trees and everything, keeping with our theme for stewardship, um, is a tree. Um, and everybody knows when we start out with the tree, pardon me, to get a tree, how do you start out? Before the tree grows, what do you have? Seeds, grass. So we've got our very basic, our sky here and our soil here. So everybody has a seed. Your little brown circle is your seed because we are all planting a seed towards the growth of our church. So everybody hold on to your seed. Okay. So again, this being the first Sunday, we don't actually have our tree just yet. We've got just the beginnings of it. So I'll start with the quote. Um, this quote is, they tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. So this quote has been used for a variety of things, a variety of causes over time, but I choose to see this as they buried us, meaning, our obstacles, the things that we need to overcome, but they didn't know we were seeds. Some of these obstacles might be financial, as I'm talking about today, but they're also about our time and the things, the other ways we contribute to the church as well. So um, my topic today is youth, and I think I was selected for youth because I was a youth in this church many, many moons ago. Not to date myself, but yes, I grew up here as a little kid, and now I have my kids growing up here. And the church has always provided a church family for my kids. And they've cared for them, they've looked out for them over all the years, and all the programs that the church has had have provided for them opportunities. A lot of the time, I couldn't provide for them on my own. Not only financially, but just the community, the support, knowing that these people were looking out for my kids, that they had their best interests, and that was the community, everybody together whether that was a financial donation towards a, a program or an activity we were doing, or the time spent with them, or even the space provided for those events. There are Boy Scouts that meet in the building. My son was a Tiger Cub. Uh, got this, I have an older son that's now 25. Started out as a Tiger Cub, went all the way here through the church into an Eagle Scout. That's something that me alone, I couldn't have done that. That was this whole church community that provided for him. The activities, the support, the community things that he needed to do, this church provided that for him. And so this morning I'm here to talk about how all of you can be involved in those kind of things as well. So I'd like to bring out, we have what we call our time and talent sheets. And the time and talent talks about not just financially what you can do, but what you can do with your time. What are your skills? What time that you have that you can spend with our youth? Do you have a Sunday where you can spend an hour? Lots of you have and we greatly appreciate those to support our youth program and be an extra person in the room with them and help the discussions. So we have those with our, with our stewardship packet and I really encourage you to fill those out because that's really where those true bonds are made. The friends that I made here as a very small child, I still have to this day, talked to one yesterday, but those bonds are so important, that support. I don't mean to call her out, but I got another friend sitting there in the back that I made and I was about, what, three years old when I was here. But those bonds are so strong, and that's what all of you provided. Whether it was as a little kid or as an adult looking out for us, we really appreciated those, and that's what we're all here to do today. Let's see. Um, so, your seed. So, I want you to think about what kind of seed are you planting here with the church? Making a donation, a contribution, a financial Are you donating with your time? And I want you to write on your seed. So there should be little pencils. Most of you have little pencils in your pew. If not, reach forward to the next pew. And I want you to write on your seed. It can be anything that you think of when you think of growth and you think of support. What is moving you at this moment? We think about youth. Uh, maybe it's just a heart. Thinking maybe it is support. Maybe it's an activity. I want your thoughts on that seed. 
And so my little assistant, come back please. is going to come around and collect those seeds because we are going to plant those seeds into our soil here. So write down whatever it is that is moving you. If you can just go right around and collect their seeds. Nope, no names, no names. Just write down whatever your thought is. Again, like I said, it doesn't even have to be a word. It could be a heart, but it's your, what you're thinking about now towards the youth. So as we progress through the Sundays, um, different people are going to get up and talk about different parts of our church and, and how you can be involved. And as you can see, our youth are involved right now. <laughs> but my point is that everybody, every, we are all a community, and as we all help each other, what things can we achieve? What seeds are we planting? So as you get, you sh everybody should be getting a stewardship mailing. So if you're on our um, on the mailing list already, you'll get a stewardship mailing in the mail. If you're not, no fear, we've got things in the back for you. Again, there's the time and talent sheet like this, but there's also a pledge form. That pledge form helps us to be able to budget for the next year. When we as the, with the youth committee are thinking what activities do we want to do, we look at that amount and say, okay, this is what we've got to work with, what funds do we need to raise, and what, how can we plan our programming. So those pledges that you make help us to decide what kind of things we can provide for our youth throughout the year, what kind of activities, what kind of fun stuff. And I say that to say, uh, mine went to, we've been to the, when they were little, they went to the circus. They went roller skating. Um, they had sleepovers here in the church. Um, we had different potlucks. Uh, what else do we do? We had, we've had movies in the church before. There are a variety, and what we just had this in August, our big camping trip. All of these activities are really great for, for the bonding and helping just, just to really build that community and that church family. So I leave you with the, the, that quote. Let me pull it in front of me, sorry. Tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. So whatever obstacles are trying to bury us, whether it be a financial one or, or even having support as far as participation, I want you to think about what kind of seeds are you planting. So when you fill out your stewardship form, what kind of seed are you planting for our church family for that next year? And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.